Here we go. Hi, my name's Che, and welcome to my kitchen. Not too long ago, I was on the roof of my house for 24 hours, and I watched a video by Michael Stevens on his YouTube channel called Dong. And in this video, he talked about siphons, and I was intrigued. A siphon, if you don't know, is basically just a tube. You suck the water through it, and then it drains all the water out of a container from gravity. Well, Michael made a special kind of siphon. He made a self-starting siphon. Now, this kind of siphon, you literally just put in a container, and it drains it automatically. You don't have to suck the fluid. So I thought to myself, I want to make my own siphon, but I want to make the world's biggest self-starting siphon. Let's go! Even though I was following Michael's directions very carefully, it still took many, many tries to make the right self-starting siphon. But I finally got it. Then for my first test, I dyed the water red where you can see it better. So now, if we put my self-starting siphon in here, it should just drain out into this pan. Here we go. Hey! Look at that! That's so exciting! It took a lot of tries and a lot of failed attempts. But I did it! Yeah! Okay, check out how cool this is. This is not a picture. This is a video of the water actually flowing into the pan. See? So now, it's time to go bigger. But first, I had to go to the store. So, my plan for right now is to use these three elbows and bend them. I gotta heat them up and actually bend them closer together to get something more like this. So you see, this is a lot different. Okay, I've watched enough YouTube videos and TV to know when a disclaimer is needed. Don't do this, and if you have to do this, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. Please use gloves, goggles, and have a fire extinguisher nearby. And no, I'm not wearing gloves because I'm an idiot and I have no regard for my personal safety. But this method didn't really work anyway. It honestly just burnt the plastic and made it too hot to touch to bend. So I'm really kind of frustrated. These pieces just did not melt the way I thought they would, and it is just gonna be really hard to get them to stay on. So I'm gonna use duct tape to make sure they're airtight. My hopes that this will work, I just don't think it's gonna work. But it might, it definitely could work. And if not, I gotta go back to Lowe's and buy more parts. It's super important that this thing's airtight. If it's not, well, the water's not going to build up pressure and then release it and the vacuum's not gonna pull it. It's all kinds of complicated physics. Okay, well, it's airtight. It definitely does have a chance at working. I just think the shape is, is too weird, not precise enough. Okay, this is the final version. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try. This was really cool. Watch the water slide over the camera lens. Moving this bucket was really difficult. All filled up is about 300 pounds. All right guys, so here we have our giant red solo cup and I'm about to put the self-starting siphon in it. Let's see how it does. Three, two, one. Ooh. I think it almost worked. Let's do it again. Three, two, one. So it was almost working. Then I refilled it and started again. So I could hear water moving throughout the pipe, which gave me a lot of hope. And then the next try, water actually came out of the pipe. Then I was hooked. It looks like it doesn't work. So, I guess I'll see you next Monday. Just kidding. We're gonna get this to work. I just don't know how. So I, I learned something. I tried to start to siphon myself by sucking on it. And it didn't go through, which means I think the diameter is too big. So the vacuum can't seal itself. I think what's happening is some of the water just going whoop right underneath the pipe. So I went back to the store. I have an idea. I 
I think I'm going to use, instead of PVC, I'm gonna use another material. 10 foot, three quarter inch pipe, adapters, and a bendy hose. This is gonna be awesome. This is an adapter. It's just a piece with a flat end that connects to the PVC pipe, and then an end with threads that screws on to the bendy hose, like this. Once I made all the pieces, it was time to cut the pipe. Then I just had to put it all together. And now it was time for the test. All right, so we're here for a test run. This is the Mach 2 version. You can see it's basically the same thing, only with bendy pipe. There's no tip, just because I wanna see how the water travels through it. We don't necessarily need it, but we only need that tip to drain the cup. Okay, here's the first test. Holy crap. Holy crap, I think that worked. So I, I, I gave it a boost and the water went out. I think all we need is a little tip. I think this might work. Things were looking good and I cannot tell you how badly I wanted this to work. All right, let's try this again. Let's see if we can get it. Three, two, one. So as you can see, the water is almost there. It's almost over. So I decided to see if I could siphon it myself. And after a couple tries, I did it, which means the siphon could work. But pay attention to all the air coming out of it right now. The inside diameter of the hose versus the pipe were different. Therefore, at the connection points, there were little pockets of air trapped inside and possible leaks, which was bad news for the siphon. But even still, I thought with the right amount of adjustments, it would work. I am going to use a little bit of this Teflon tape to hopefully seal up the threads. The pipes are totally airtight. It's the threads that aren't doing so hot. See if this helps. This could actually be just what we need to get us over that edge, just a little bit more. <laughs> it's airtight, it's airtight. Yes, okay, okay, let's keep going. Oh my, oh, let's keep going, okay. guys. If this works, I really need you to subscribe. And you might think, yeah, I'm just one person. You're really not gonna care. I will, trust me. This is my, my entire, like, this is what I want to do. Clearly, I love it. Here I am, making a giant self-starting siphon. That's how I spend my Tuesday. Mm. <laughs> it's airtight. Let's test it again. Please, 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 please. Three, two, one. It's barely getting over the edge now. So I just kept on dunking it, hoping it would work. It could be so many things that I'm doing wrong and I just don't know because I'm not a physics major. I just kind of do this stuff because I think it's cool. I definitely wasn't ready to give up. I looked at the pipe really closely and I realized something. One of the pipes was too long. So I went in the garage and I cut it shorter. It was shorter than the length of this pipe. And sure enough, it had a really positive effect. Well, that seemed to help a lot, actually. So I kept trying and trying and trying and trying different ways, different angles, until finally... Holy crap, it's almost there. Okay, I took like an inch off of it. See if that made any difference. Why? <laughs> So close. <laughs> okay. It's actually leaking a little bit, so maybe we should fix that. After I fixed the leak, I took the tip of the siphon off because I learned the tighter that the hose is around the lip of the can, the better it goes. Right here I'm also realizing is when I put the pipe all the way down to the bottom of the cup, it forces the water up a little bit higher. And with all these techniques in mind, I was getting very, very close. Look how close, look how close. Until finally. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I think I just got it. Holy crap, okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, 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 oh. Holy crap. All right guys, we're in the garage now because the driveway isn't level and the sun is in a terrible place for filming. Without further ado, I think I might have it. Let's try it again. Oh! No tricks, 
nothing. It was completely dry. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I don't care. I'll do it as many times as you guys need me to. Oh my gosh. I made the world's biggest self-starting siphon. Now technically, that's not true. There are many other types of different self-starting siphons, like urinals are an example, but this is what I made. I took an arts and craft project out of straws and made it into a real life siphon. This is crazy. Let's fill it up, let's do it again. So look, I'm gonna take it completely out. Hear that? That means it's draining. Look at that, okay? Now I'm gonna lay it like this. Oh, 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 crap, crap. Some of the threads are coming loose. I'm actually gonna lay it on the floor right here, okay? I might leave a lot of this uncut, just so you know I'm not lying in any way. Um, because I really did do this. It's just starting to overflow. And one of the things that helps the little one work so much better is the fact that on the top you have way more surface tension so the water actually bubbles a little bit. Anyway, this siphon is completely empty, okay? See that? Nothing. You don't hear any water, nothing. Here we go. This thing. Guys, please excuse the white paint on my lip. You'll see it in the next scene, but literally there is so much paint in that water. I'm so proud of this thing. I can't believe that I did this. I guess there's only one thing left to do. If you really thought I wasn't gonna empty this cup the old fashioned way, you're crazy. Yeah!